Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Peter Cruz and I'm happy today to be here to talk about excellence through ethics. I'm the executive director of the Leroy Collins Public Ethics Academy at Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton. Part of that job requires me to teach students about ethics. Another part of that job includes providing training programs for cities and counties here in Southeast Florida to make sure they know about ethics and can follow the ethics laws that we have in place. What motivates me to do what I do? Well, I've been teaching now for almost 30 years. I had a career in business before that, but since I've been a teacher, getting the feedback from my students when I talk about ethics and the importance of ethics in both their personal lives and in their public lives, especially in the public sector, it's very rewarding to see that students make these connections and realize how important it is to have some grounding in ethics to be able to be a um, responsible person with the interactions with your family, your friends, or with your employers or your employees. What does a typical workday for me look like? Well, when I'm a college professor, I teach classes. In more recent times, it's been online, like most of us have been online, and I use the Canvas platform to deliver my courses, which some of you are working on, I'm sure, right now. When I'm an ethics commissioner or when I oversee the Inspector General's commission, those do not have regular working hours. We have regular meetings throughout the month that are scheduled and they're open to the public, but ethics operations and ethics investigations really work around the clock. Uh, we can get a complaints filed with either organization 24 seven and immediately when they're received, the process begins working. Not every complaint that we get turns out to be true, but if it does turn out to be true and the evidence is there, then it's very important that either the Ethics Commission or the Inspector General takes fairly swift action to make sure whatever the behavior is stops and that appropriate punishment is given if that's what's needed. What's the biggest risk you have taken in your career and what was the outcome? Well, I've only been doing these jobs I just mentioned for just about three years. And it was very risky, I thought, to start an ethics academy at FAU and then to take on both the Ethics Commission and the Inspector General Commission at the same time. But it was very important that if we were teaching about ethics at FAU, we needed to put that teaching into practice um, in our community, which is what we do and what I do when I'm working as an ethics commissioner or overseeing the IG Commission. The outcome, well, so far, has been pretty good. Our Ethics Academy is doing well. We host the High School Ethics Bowl that hopefully many of you will continue to compete in. Um, and our Ethics Commission and our IG are doing very well. And we are finding a number of issues that in the past were not identified here in the county, but because we have a mechanism to go find out what the problem is, investigate it, and then provide the necessary correction, that's going well. I hope the outcome will be continued success and that um, we keep our ethical climate here in the county, um, at least making sure that we follow the law, but even more, more important, try to be more aspirational. That means trying to be a more ethical person, a more ethical organization, and try to show how it's, it's not that hard to achieve those ends. 
And that's part of the Ethics Academy's mission at Florida Atlantic University. In addition to teaching college students, we also train people that work in government, cities, counties, uh, other governmental organizations on how to be more proactive in their ethical behavior, not just following the law. How do I define success? When I was much younger, it was how many things I owned, material things, how much money I had. But as one gets older, and if there's been no major uh, disasters in your life, material things don't mean quite as much. Success now is not how many people follow me on Facebook or on Instagram, but if I were to disappear tomorrow, would people notice I was gone? Have I made any kind of difference? Will people think, well, yes, he tried to make the community a little better where he lived. And I think that's probably one of the most important measures of success that I, I look to and that hopefully you look to also. Thank you very much.